offside against Kundananji. You see Apado recalled to the 11 at the expense of Grace Chanda. That will have settled any Derby Day nerves. How do the visitors respond to that uh, early setback? Here's Maneo. Garcia. It's been such a decent start to the season for, for both of these sides. Madrid club to football losing 7-0 to Barcelona. That's their only defeat. How do they respond to going behind in this one? free kick. They finished 13th last season, the visitors. They were 13 points above bottom. They got eight wins from their 30 matches. If they are able to pick up a victory here, a come from behind victory, then they'll already be halfway towards that total. Still in October. been a decent start to the campaign for Maria Pry and her side but they trail here Stephanie Bonini's header separating the two sides they haven't really provided too much in terms of an attacking threat so far the away side Kundananji four goals in four league games for her this season gives that one away though to the goal scorer No Maratza losing out. That should be worked back to Gallardo and is. Second spell at the club for the Atletico Madrid keeper and captain. Garcia plays it backwards to Maneo. Decent pressing this, but they've played it well. Banini. Cut out by Ana Gonzalez. Throw in to Atletico. given away well, very compact over on that far side of the field Atletico can't do anything with it and Madrid club to football bring it forward Laura Dominguez a little bit of space what can she do with it gets the return Kundanji First real spell of possession that the visitors have had in the opening 15 minutes or so. And as soon as I say that, they've given it away. Well, this was the opening goal. Bonini arriving at the far post. Placing that header past the despairing dive of Paola Ulloa. And 
Anna Gonzalez. Kundananji, can she keep it in? Not quite. Two goals last time out. Two goals against Las Planas as well. So a couple of braces this season for the Zambian striker. Chabadi getting all four of her goals in one match. Dominguez. Gialli Tang just tries to help it on its way. Stea Fernandez, the number 21, losing out to her fellow number 21, Sheila Garcia, who comes away with the ball. Maneo. Santos. Maneo, under pressure, works it back to Gallardo. Champions League winner in 2020 with Leon. Sends the home side on their way. Very analytical, Oscar Fernandez. He uses plenty of data and statistics to scout players. Coming into the women's game from men's football, he's been tasked with getting Atletico Madrid back into the Champions League places. That's where the club want to be. And Oscar Fernandez, starting his second season at the club, has been tasked with achieving that objective this year. He finished fourth last season. 59 points in total. That was 31 points behind Barcelona. We know that their uh, domestic dominance is complete. Maria Pry taking over the visitors midway through the season last year, guiding them to that 13th place finish. She does have Champions League qualification on her CV. Qualifying for Europe's premier club competition with Levante. Best known perhaps for seven years at Betis where she earned promotion to the top flight. Short spell managing in Chile before arriving here in the Spanish capital. But it's her side who are trailing and it's the home side who are coming forward with Garcia. Ajibade goes to ground, free kick. Ana Gonzalez with the foul, a little push in the back. Ajibade going to ground, and now this is lined up nicely for the home side. Into Rodriguez up from the back, looking to cause problems and make a nuisance of herself. Benini already has one goal. Santos is there as well. It is the Argentinian who blazes it harmlessly over.
Garcia with the throw. Whistle goes, just as De Silva thought she was away. Sixth season at the club now for the Brazilian. It's going to be the first booking of the match. Santos it is who earns the yellow. Pretty inconclusive from that replay. Santos back in the starting lineup for this one. The one change for Oscar Fernandez's side. Santos coming into midfield at the expense of Hannah Lundqvist, who drops to the bench. Lundqvist started in that 5-0 win over Huelva last weekend. Cometti. Long ball over the top. Harmless ball over the top. Bonini will give chase. Has she got the pace? She gets there ahead of Gonzalez. Ajibade playing deep and playing wide. Oh, it's an untimely slip and Maneo's away. Here is Santos. Santos towards the far post. That's a really fine save, but the flag was up. It wouldn't have counted. Ajibade who is high in confidence right now, heading that one goalwards. It was kept out by Ulloa. Not entirely convinced that that's the correct decision, but the keeper didn't know that. Had to make the save and did. Maneo controlling possession in the opening 25 minutes, that's for sure. The home side, as soon as I say that, it's given away. Now, what can the visitors do with it? Here's Pardo. And they've worked this well. Jibade wins the throw. Three-time champions, Atletico Madrid. They won three titles in a row, 2017, 2018, and 2019, before Barcelona's brilliance. The Catalan side, since then, dominating proceedings domestically in Spain. Their best Champions League showing was uh, a quarter-final spot in 2020. Get back into Europe Premier Club competition on a regular basis. Madrid's best finish in the at uh, the top flight was seventh. Came in the uh, 2021 season, a couple of years ago. Apply will be eyeing a finish perhaps better than that this time around. They've made a decent start, finding themselves in fifth place at the start of the day. But they find themselves behind. 
It's Stephanie Benini's 10th minute header separating the two sides. And it is the home side coming forward once again. Ludmilla de Silva goes to ground, wins another free kick in another dangerous position and another yellow card. It's that drop of the shoulder, the turn of pace. She was away. Lauren Costa into the book. Oh, it might have been uh, Stea Fernandez actually. It is Fernandez. Well, a few moments ago, a free kick from an almost identical position was blazed over by Stephanie Benini, the goal scorer. This one's into the wall. Oh, well, that's caused a problem for Paula Ulloa. My tiny Lopez with a hopeful hook towards goal that caused perhaps more problems than it should have done. Goal kick. Well, that was just a hopeful hook towards goal, wasn't it, really? Paolo Ulloa, the 25-year-old, the club captain. Keeping it out, but not totally convincingly. Home side coming forward again. Here's Banini. Really nicely done. Ajibade lurking at the far post. It doesn't quite reach her. Lopez loses it out. They look comfortable, Atletico Madrid. It's only uh, a solitary goal separating the two sides. But they look the more likely to get the next goal. De Silva away, trying to feed it through for Ajibari. They're forming a really decent partnership up top this year for Atletico Madrid. Both were on target last week in that 5-0 win. Ajibari getting four of them. De Silva the other. Half an hour played then, and the home side, a goal to the good. The visitors haven't really offered too much as an attacking threat. Struggling to think of a save that Lola Gallardo has had to make. Can they create something here? Fernandez back to Dominguez. Stea Fernandez infield. Gonzalez out wide. Pinios with the cross from deep. Lopez heads it clear. You can see in the picture there, Oscar Fernandez just telling his side to. Slow it down, take the pace out of the move. There was perhaps the chance for a swift counter-attack, but he's keen for his side to keep possession. Benini going to ground. Anna Gonzalez with the foul. Don't think she can have any complaints about that one. Benini. 32 years old, 
back in the international scene, back amongst the goals for her club. Chibade. Space for Garcia. Dominguez fouled. Lopez picks up the loose ball. It's another yellow card, third of the half. Gonzalez on Benini once again. Garcia. Adjabade. Ludmilla de Silva waiting for it on the penalty spot. Carmen Mineo. Slightly loose ball, but uh, Garcia does well to work it to Santos. Tries to play the one two. Kundananji tries to get it clear, but Lopez picks it up. Garcia can't create space for the shot. Mineo. Mineo again. Hajibade. Nicely done. Gets the ball in, but gets the cross all wrong. Had a spell playing in Norway, Rashida Adjibade signed a new contract at the club, keeping her in the Spanish capital until 2025. Monica hits it long, can't pick out a teammate. Well, chances few and far between in the opening uh, 34 minutes of this one. We have had one goal, Stephanie Benini's header in the 10th minute separating the two sides. The keeper has, from memory, had a save to make. Ajibade. Easily cut out by Mineo. Ajibade with space now. De Silva had Banini offering the short option. Just being outnumbered, but manages to skip away from one, two, three challenges. She's still going. Ajabade picks it up. This is better from the home side. A bit of urgency in their play, and they've won the throw. Maratza over to take. The other early kickoff. On this Saturday, it's Alaves against Athletic Bilbao. It's also a midday kickoff, Spanish time. It is 1 1 in that one. Benini, the goal scorer. 
has a chance to cross. Lines it up towards the far post, but comfortable for Ulloa. Kundanangi, a rare chance to come forward for Madrid club to football, but unable to capitalise on the opportunity. They haven't really had too many chances in the final third in this first half. They've offered very little as an attacking threat, the visitors. do have victories this season over Alaves, Las Planas and Betis. Three wins from their opening four games. An identical record to Atletico Madrid. But they've really offered very little in this one. Going forward. And Gonzalez just overhitting that one. He's on a yellow card, along with Estea Fernandez. Here is Fernandez now, losing out. De Silva picks it up. First time ball. Ajibade back to goal. Lines it up for Santos to shoot. Oyoa comfortably saves that one. Chibade has come deep once again, looking for the ball, looking to try and make things happen. Santos losing out. Costa. Lopez trying to win that back, but they've worked it well to Pardo. Morazza. Running down a bit of a blind alley. Losing possession, and now she's out of position. If the visitors can play this correctly, which they can't. Pardo. Cometti. Another Argentinian on the pitch. Given away to Silva. Trying to launch something from deep. Adjibade over the top for Santos. Ludmilla de Silva making a run to the penalty spot. Santos can't pick her out. Garcia's offering the option. Here she is. Santos again. Elects not to get the ball into the box. Adjibade and de Silva waiting for it. Dongan, Benini, Morazza, Garcia, no free kick, Kundanangi bringing it forward for the visitors, Pardo to her right hand side, not too many options for Madrid, Pardo forced wide, Van Dongen defending, Comfortable for the captain. They just haven't been able to make those opportunities count. Not too many touches in the final third. Barely any touches inside the Atletico Madrid penalty box. And when they have been able to work themselves into semi-decent positions, a little bit of quality and composure lacking in the final third. 
have to say so far, feels like it's a pretty comfortable outing for Atletico Madrid at this stage of proceedings. Into Rodriguez, back to Gallardo. Chabadi wins the free kick. Monica with the foul. Monica playing against her former club, as we see Ulloa's save a few minutes ago from Santos. She's been the busier of the two keepers. Santos. Can they find a second before half time? Give themselves a bit of a cushion at the break. Maneo to Silva. Doesn't quite take the ball with her and then concedes the free kick. really have too many complaints about that one. Dominguez. Ajibade trying to win it back. Metti will take. International teammate of the goal scorer Stephanie Benini. Both of them playing for Argentina against Poland a couple of weeks ago. Kometi actually getting an assist in that one. As we've already mentioned, Benini scoring for club and country this month. On target for Argentina. And on target in the first 10 minutes of this one. And it is her header. It looks like it will separate the two sides at the break. Unless Madrid Club de Football can ask some questions here. It's a slice of clearance. No question of a back pass. Comfortable for Gallardo. Well, it's a walking pace now at the end of this first half. Atletico Madrid. Comfortable. The visitors not really posing them any questions, any conundrums. They look the more likely going forward. And they look extremely comfortable at the back so far. Maria Pry will be looking to get them in at half time. See if she can find the magic at the interval to inspire her side. To look a little bit more deadly in the final third. First of all, though, they'll be hoping to keep it at 1-0. Second goal right now would be really a killer blow. We've got 60 seconds of injury time at the end of this first half. Santos with the cross. Wasn't convincing defending, but they got away with it. Building from the back, eventually they decide to hit it long. Here's Dominguez. Is there one final push? Kundanangi in behind. Has Pardo on the penalty spot. Pulls it back. Here is Pardo. Miscues. And that's surely the last action of the first half. Half-time whistle goes. Stephanie Benini's 10th minute header separating the two sides. Chances have been few and far between. But in the Madrid derby, it is the home side, Atletico Madrid, 
who lead at the break. Benini's goal separating the sides. Half time, it's Atletico Madrid 1, Madrid club to football nil. coming in you either see it as a threat and you kind of crumble with it or you see it as a challenge and you thrive from it coming in you either see it as a threat and you kind of crumble with it or you see it as a challenge and you thrive from it coming in you either see it as a threat and you kind of crumble with it or you see it as a challenge and you thrive from it Some breaking news. Sam Kerr is joining Chelsea on a two and a half year deal. It'd be almost like Messi signing for the men's team. It's that big a deal, I think. It's quite annoying that everyone's so focused on Sam. I think people just need to take a step back and actually focus on the girls that are here. In the men's game, you have to play well to belong, and in the women's game, you have to belong to play well. And to come in and to fight every day, it takes it out of you. And it's hard when you're just not quite good enough. The first year of being a mum and a manager was so tough. Last year, I felt I neglected the players emotionally. <laughs> but this season is different. New York was lit. New York will forever be lit. It's big time boxing. 
The U.S. debut for the man regarded by most to be the best heavyweight in the world. Anthony Joshua! AJ walked into MSG. Like a superhero walked in the building. And he's fighting a fighter named Andy Ruiz, who very few people have ever seen fight. Here's a guy who no one truly believed could win. Anthony Joshua standing next to Andy Ruiz. Who's winning that fight? Did I know about him, truthfully? No. I think I've always been the underdog because when they see me, they're like, man, who's this short, chubby kid? I knew very little about Ruiz. This guy who looks like he just rolled in from the pub. I thought AJ was way too big, way too strong for him. Let's get ready to rumble! The Zone Soccer <laughs> Show is here with regular updates on the biggest stories, the biggest names, and the best takes. <laughs> it's come from both of us. What's who's striking? Jimenez. Raul Jimenez. Raul Jimenez, yeah, yeah. That's one for the outtakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Inside info from those in the know as well, taking a global view of the game that we love. The Zone Soccer Show with new content daily. Give me your top five goal scorers this season. Chelsea. Man. Chelsea haven't got anyone no. out there. Sorry, Raheem Sterling. <laughs> <laughs>
I remember hearing that there's a new guy from Mexico touted to be a great. The crowd is electrified. This kid loves it. You just don't fight Floyd Mayweather at that age. Why would you do that? Y pues al final de cuentas yo quiero hacer historia. Ahí está, mira el golpe, ese. Ese fue un golpe muy importante en la pelea. The two Triple G fights were two absolute wars, two epics. That jab opened up a cut on the eyebrow of Canelo. That second fight was for all the marbles. Sentía como si me pegaran con algo de, 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 de hierro, de metal. It's over! Dicen que para toda acción hay una reacción y esa fue mi reacción. players coming in. You either see it as a threat and you kind of crumble with it, or you see it as a challenge and you thrive from it. coming in you either see it as a threat and you kind of crumble with it or you see it as a challenge and you thrive from it coming in you either see it as a threat and you kind of crumble with it or you see it as a challenge and you thrive from it Atletico Madrid out first at half time. They lead by a goal to nil in the Madrid derby in La Liga Femenina. Stephanie Bonini's 10th minute header separating the two sides. And Madrid club de football who lost 7 nil against Barcelona. Beat Betis 4-0 last time out. You sense they have to show a bit more ambition in the second half. They offered very little going forward in the first 45 minutes. Maria Pry keeping her side in a little bit longer. Oscar Fernandez, the Atletico Madrid boss, has sent his side out. Santa Rodriguez there. 
was at Belva for her entire career before arriving at Atletico Madrid. Captain Leila Gallardo looking on. The keepers are captains in this one. Paula Ulloa making her way back out onto the field of play. They were out early, weren't they, Atletico Madrid? Oscar Fernandez keeping his half-time team talk relatively brief. And, uh, it does look as if the visitors... Well, I suggested that they probably needed to offer a bit more going forward. They needed to show a little bit more ambition. And it looks like they are preparing a change. Grace Chanda, who is one of those about to come on, and another Argentinian, Argentinian Florinica Bonsegundo, will enter the fray. So a double change. Grace Chanda, who started the last match against uh, well, in fact, both of these players started the, the first match. Gialli Tang makes way for the Argentinian. Grace Chandu on as well. We are underway then. It is the visitors. Madrid Club de Football attacking the goal away to our right-hand side. Atletico Madrid, the home side, in their familiar red and white stripes, attacking the goal away to our left. So Kundanji makes way. Four goals in four games for her. She won't be adding to her tally. Chris Chanda is on. Bon Segundo replacing Gialli Tang. Pardo brought down. Free kick to the visitors. The start of this second half. Can they put the Atletico Madrid back line under some early pressure? Fernandez over the free kick. An early set piece opportunity, but they can't capitalise. Pardo, first time effort. Not quite what she intended. It almost fell kindly for Costa. Still up from the back. Pneos with the throw. Chanda. Pneos again, skipping away from a couple of challenges. Chanda with the chance to cross, but there's no one there. Coming forward again, here is Chanda. It's a better start to the second half. Chanda from distance, Gallardo comfortably collects. This is a better start to the second half for the visitors. They are showing some attacking intent, which was lacking in the first 45 minutes. That was a long way out for Chanda to try her luck. To get a goal and an assist last time out. Grace Chanda in that victory over Betis. Had to settle for a place on the bench for this one, but she's got 45 minutes to make an impact. Muratza. Benini. Benini again. Has Ajibadi on the overlap. Elects not to use her. Goes to Anoa Muratza. 
chips it forward looking for Santos that's easily cut out and now the visitors can try and come forward once again it's going to be a free kick Juan Segundo coming on 29 year old Argentinian used to play for Valencia and Huelva on in midfield for Gialli Tang who was uh, quite quiet in the first 45 minutes the former Tottenham player is the goal scorer Van Dongen lays it to Murazza Lopez wins the header. Ajibade picks it up. Morazza. Skips away from the challenge of Gonzalez. Santos into the area, causing problems. Banini can't create space for the shot. Santos trying to win it back. Lopez. Morazza. Ajibade. Away she goes, going for goal. We haven't seen too much of Rashid Ajibade so far in this match. Four goals last weekend. Just a drop of the shoulder, the turn of pace. Just didn't quite wrap her right boot around that one, did she? This was Santos going to ground in the area. Half-hearted appeals for a penalty. Not given. Defending champions Barcelona in action a little bit later on today. They travel to Betis. Elva against last year's runners-up, Real Sociedad. Also taking place on Saturday. The other early kickoff is Alaves against Athletic Bilbao. That is tied at 1-1. Can Madrid Club de Football level this at 1-1? Off the head of De Silva into the gloves of Gallardo. Well, we had three of the top four joint scorers in La Liga Femenina starting this match. With Mila de Silva, Ajibade, Kundanji, all have four goals to their name, along with Anna Franco of Sevilla and Geysa of Barcelona. Kundanji has since made way. This is a match that, that promised a lot to inform sides. Two sides have started the season well. Nine points. It was fourth against fifth at the start of the day. So far, it hasn't quite sparked into life. Tenth minute goal separating the two sides. trying to spot the run of Lumilla de Silva who looked at the referee pleadingly nothing was given corner Maneo over to take. A 
Made a couple of changes already, the visitors. Third corner of the match for the home side. It's an in-swinger. Another set-piece opportunity, Santos to take. They're queuing up on the edge of the area. There's a free header. That was not far away. That's a really good opportunity. Unmarked. There was a ball floated in. There was a crowded penalty area. I think it was Atabade who failed to hit the target. Morata wins it back. Ajibade, can she keep that one in? Wins the corner. Visitors furious, think the ball had already gone out of play before Ajibade pulled it across. No question of offside. Good injection of pace. Ooh, they may have a point. Corner given, though. time they're crowding the six yard area looking to make life difficult for Paolo Oyar. in it comes a hair shot from uh, Ludmilla da Silva and now a chance on the counter attack for Pardo she's making good ground Chanda shooting opportunity across the face of goal a wonderful counter attack oh how about that She's only been on the pitch 10 minutes. The half-time substitute has levelled with a swift counter-attack from left to right and a pinpoint finish. 1-1. Well, it came from an Atletico Madrid corner. De Silva with an air shot there and then it was picked up by Pardo. She made a good 50, 60 yards running deep into Atletico Madrid territory. Question marks, perhaps, as to whether Chanda was offside. One touch, and then that is a really good finish across the face of goal. Really good composure from Chanda, picking out the bottom corner. Gallardo couldn't keep it out. And out of absolutely nothing, the visitors are level. Atletico Madrid scored 10 minutes into the first half. Madrid, club de football, has scored 10 minutes into the second. Just as Atletico Madrid were beginning to try and turn the screw, piling on the pressure, successive corners, looking to score the second goal. But a really well-worked counter-attack. Full credit to Lucia Pardo as well to create the chance. 22-year-old bringing the ball forward and then setting up Grace Chanda to score her second goal of the season. Santos. That's a long-range effort, harmless. Silva with the turn, Ajibadi picks up the loose ball. Referee playing advantage. De Silva making the run to the near post, it evades her, it evades everyone. And the visitors get it clear. Fourth booking of the match.
Garcia joins her teammate Lacey Santos in the notebook. Well, this is the goal again. Not the Atletico Madrid goal. The visitors goal from an Atletico corner. Here it is, picked up by Pardo, and away she goes. Perfectly weighted ball for Chanda, who timed her run perfectly and then placed her finish perfectly. It's a really fine goal and a really fine celebration. Losing some points for the landing. They're swarming forward again here, the visitors. A long-range effort, Gallardo tips it over. All of a sudden, she's called into action. She's been a mere spectator throughout the first half. Work to do now, though, for the Atletico Madrid captain. And her defence need to be alert here because a set-piece opportunity for the visitors to turn this match around. They offered nothing in the first 45 minutes. Into the danger zone, just a bit too high for everyone. Derby Day pride at stake for these two sides. of a high foot, not given, one back by Vinios. Benini. Benini sliding in, preventing Chanda from escaping, but Chanda does pick up the ball at the second time of asking. Ponsegundo goes for goal. Worth an effort. One half-time substitutes already on the score sheet. The Argentinian looking to make it two. As the uh, home side make a change, bringing on Marta Cardona. that Ajibade's made way. She won't be adding to her tally. Four goals last weekend. Nothing to show for her endeavours this weekend. Marta Cordona, a summer arrival. Coming from a Real Madrid. Scored for Spain recently against Sweden. And a third change for the visitors. Gabby Nunes is coming on. Lucia Pardo makes way. Gabby Nunes scored here last season. Atletico Madrid winning 3 2 last season. Achibade getting a couple of goals on that day. Gabby Nunes scoring for the visitors, but it was in vain. In fact, Nunez scored in a 2-2 draw as well in the reverse fixture. So she scored two goals last season against Atletico Madrid. Chanda concedes the free kick just as she thought she was away. A whistle preventing her from pulling the trigger. 
Merrill van Dongen pushed in the back. Santos. De Silva, she's fast. She's able to get there, but can't quite tee it up. Running into trouble. Esther Fernandez concedes the throw in. They won five of six matches in pre-season, Atletico Madrid, including a victory over Bayern Munich. So they were high in confidence coming into this campaign. They've won three from four so far. But they've been pegged back in this one. We've got a match on our hands now in the final 25 minutes or so. She knows that this game is there for the taking. He knows his side could be out of sight by now. Pneos with space. Nunes. Neos with the chance to cross. It's a dangerous ball in. Eventually the home side get it clear. But they'll come again. Gonzalez. Neos. One back by Santos. She's going to have to go alone, waiting for some support. Tries to feed it through for Ludmilla de Silva. Banini. Banini with the cross, cut out by the first defender. Benini scampering away, can't feed it through. Madrid bring it clear. Can they turn defence into attack once again? Lovely counter-attacking goal. Ten minutes into the second half, levelling matters. Cancelling out Benini's tenth minute opener. Arma Maneo it is, who's gone to ground. Actually studied physiotherapy herself. So she probably knows exactly what she's talking about in conversation with the physio. Signed for the club in 2016. She's made more than 100 appearances since then. Anna Lundqvist, who started the 5-0 win against Huelva last time out, on the bench for this one. Could perhaps be an obvious replacement. Renea looks like she's going to be OK, is she? No. Her race is run, by the looks of it. Oscar Fernandez readying a change.
Gonzalez. Wrong place, wrong time. Andreas Daskova being rushed on. Not yet. The visitors coming forward. Pineos. What about now? Still she has to wait. Santos running into trouble, winning the throw. How about now? Third time lucky is Carmen Maneo. Replaced by Andreas Daskova. Maneo still receiving treatment as the Czech player, the two-time Czech Women's Footballer of the Year, comes onto the field of play. And she is bang in form, having scored a hat-trick against Hungary for the Czech Republic a couple of weeks ago. Grace Chanda. Cross from deep, take the deflection. Behind for a corner. Stea Fernandez over to take. Monica up from the back. Lauren Costa's there as well. Work to do for Lola Gallardo. Can they make this set piece opportunity count? Dangerous one to the near post. Gallardo comes, doesn't get there. Hook clear by Benini. Is that a push in the back on Garcia? Nothing given. De Silva. Looking for the run of Marta Cardona, but just too much on it. And through to Ulloa. Cardona cuts that one out. Asks a little bit too much of Santos. Good effort. Eight years since her Colombia debut. She was also on target for her country recently. A couple of goals against Paraguay. Into the final 20 minutes then, this... Uh, Derby Day clash is perfectly poised. So we'll shepherd that one out. Got a donut.
Garcia. Flag stays down to Silva. Daskova, first real touch. De Silva brings it down, tries to scamper away from a number of challenges. Cardona, a little bit more urgency you sense now in the play of the home side. Here's Banini. Santos waiting on the edge of the six yard area. Cardona's there as well. Andrea Staskova, an obvious target because of her height. Stray arm, perhaps, into the face. Fifteen minutes to go, and you just sense in the last five minutes or so, it's Atletico Madrid who have injected some urgency into their play. They fancy this. They are the home side. Banini wins the corner. Oh, goal kick given. Well, that goal scored by Grace Chander 10 minutes into the second half was the first goal that Atletico Madrid have conceded at home in the league this season. Will it be enough to earn Madrid Club de Football a point? Here's Santos, Cardona, Staskova in front of her. Here is Staskova, twisting, turning, creating space for the shot, which is deflected wide. They're getting closer. They're growing in confidence. Staskova, by hook or by crook, was able to get that shot away. It comes. Ulloa losing the flight of the ball, I think, somewhat. Just about managed to get a touch, I think, but it wasn't the most convincing of touches. And it is another corner. Santos with the set piece. Towards Cinta Rodriguez with the header. Super save. She thought that was in. She thought she'd done enough. Making a run at the far post, a free header. Paula Oyoa equal to it though. A fine, fine save, keeping the home side at bay. Rodriguez perhaps the target again. Staskova's there. Will also be a target. Here it comes. It's too high for Staskova. Too high for everyone, in fact. The draw for the Women's World Cup 
in Australia and New Zealand next year has been made. Spain in a group with Costa Rica, Zambia and Japan. Silva gets it across behind harmlessly for a goal kick. It means that Grace Chander, who scored the equaliser here, will be, if selected, playing against Spain. Decent spell of territory and possession this for Atletico Madrid though as we tip towards the final 10 minutes minutes they do look the more likely of the two sides it was a swift counter-attack that did for Atletico Madrid for the equaliser so they will be wary of committing too many shirts forward having seen that the opposition the away side can break with pace Benini gets it in. De Silva with the header, another save from Ulloa. They can't find a way past her at the moment. It's a really good ball in, a really good header as well. That was uh, heading towards the top corner, I think. Ulloa had to get there and did. And she injured, injured herself in the process. They're crowding the six-yard area, pressing for a second goal. Benini with the effort, Uyo with the save. really get a touch at the moment the away side they can't get their foot on the ball it's Atletico Madrid coming forward once again Garcia wins the throw wants to take it quickly the away side readying another change Chanda with the push Garcia goes to ground Can Atletico Madrid make their pressure count in the final stages of this Derby Day clash? She's kept them at bay so far. Andrea Stashkova lining this one up. It's a long way out. Stashkova does go for goal too far away. Aaron Araya coming on. Steph Fernandez making way. Chilean, 32 years old, former Sevilla player. Her fifth appearance of the season. Played in every match so far. 
now against the run of play. Madrid coming forward, but that's Gallardo's to collect. And she distributes it. But the referee spotted something. Lopez was down. Cinta Rodriguez, who had that header a few moments ago from a corner saved by Oyoa. That was perhaps the closest that the home side have come to finding the winning goal. Shashkova, does she win the corner or was that a push in the back? The officials say corner. Dana Cometti, the Argentinian, has stayed down. Back to her feet, back in the box, work to do. Another set piece. Can they make this one count? Their 10th corner into the final five minutes. Santos to take. Stashkova's there. Just too high for her, really, to try and direct that one goalwards. Has scored this season. Just couldn't steer that one into the top corner. I think Cometti was booked. And Gonzalez in some discomfort. I think Cometti became the sixth player in the referee's notebook for something that she said off the ball. Lundqvist enters proceedings. Santos makes way. Da Silva bearing down on goal. Cardona too high for Lopez. And too much on it for Garcia. Time ticking away for Oscar Fernandez and his side if they are to find a winner. 56th minute equaliser from Grace Chander. Is it enough to earn a point? Atletico Madrid will possibly feel that this is two points dropped if they aren't able to find a way through. Lopez feeding it through, Staskova goes to ground and the referee says penalty. In the 89th minute, Atletico Madrid will have a chance from 12 yards. And Cometti does go into the book. Lopez feeding it through. Staskova was onside. Cometti sliding in, nowhere near the ball. Staskova going down and the referee pointing to the spot.
Paolo Ulloa has had a good second half. Has she got one more super save in her? It's Ludmila de Silva with the chance to win it for Atletico Madrid. Four and four for her so far this season. And it is saved by Ulloa. And the rebound's wide. Can you believe it? A super second half capped off by a penalty save from Paula Ulloa. De Silva aiming for that bottom corner. Ulloa guessing correctly. And the follow up was sent wide as well. Is it Madrid Club de Football's day? Here is De Silva once again. They're still knocking at the door as we tick over the 90-minute mark. We are into stoppage time and the home side have a corner. Five minutes of stoppage time at the end of the 90. Another set-piece opportunity for Atletico Madrid towards Rodriguez. And Segundo tries to clear behind for a goal kick. Player of the match, you would have to say, not just because of this save, but a string of saves prior to it. This one just the icing on the cake, guessing correctly. The captain leading by example. But still the home side press. That's going to be a free kick. They're still knocking at the door. They're still the more likely of the two sides. The visitors have held firm so far in this second half. De Silva, Ludmilla De Silva. Can't create space for the shot. Rodriguez lays it out wide to Cardona. Cardona twisting, turning back to goal. Good defending. They come away with it. Araya hits it long. Grace Chanda will give chase, but will never get there. Gallardo will send them on their way once again. Hannah Lundqvist with plenty of space to run into. They're backpedalling now. Cardona, they're defending deep. Lundqvist floats it towards Staskova, who takes it off the head of Ludmilla de Silva. Van Dongen up from the back. They're committing shirts forward, but they still just can't find a way through. It was uh, Meryl Van Dongen. The Dutch defender who sent that one off target. Two minutes of the five remaining. A fifth change for the visitors. Laura Dominguez makes way. Ruth Alvarez, who's uh, entered proceedings. Defender, signed in the summer from Ibar. Bon Segundo, heavy touch, but she's still going. Chanda to her right-hand side. Gabi Nunes waiting for it as well on the penalty spot. Can't get the ball into the danger zone, and now 
the home side have the chance to launch something themselves on the counter-attack. Ludmilla de Silva, does she get there? Good defending, claims of handball not given. Final 60 seconds, it's now or never. Pushing the back, and that's going to be... a free kick, and she knows that they are almost there. It's gone against her, defending to do. One final chance, perhaps, for the home side to steal a late winner. Staskova, can she get the ball in? She can, but it's deflected and then cleared. Chanda closing down Gallardo. Ooh, almost one back in a dangerous position by Nunes. She was able to get there, they were in behind. As it is, it's the home side coming forward. That's going to be a free kick. And that's going to be potentially the last act of this match, a set piece to defend. They've stood firm so far, she can't believe it. More defending to do. One final chance for the home side. Meryl van Dongham up from the back. Maitani Lopez is there as well. Andrea Staskova always a threat from the air. Here it comes in the 96th minute. Into the danger zone, still not cleared. And eventually the visitors should pump it clear and do. Now, still no whistle. Chanda marauding forward, it's three on three here. And that is the final act of the match. Madrid club to football earn a share of the spo uh, spoils. Paolo Ulloa, the hero. A penalty save in the 89th minute. Grace Chanda leveled matters in the 56th minute. A wonderful counter-attack from left to right, leveling matters after a 10th minute goal from Stephanie Bonini had put Atletico Madrid ahead. The home side dominated the first half. They couldn't put daylight between themselves and their opponents. In the second half, the visitors had one shot on goal. It was all they needed to level matters. Ludmilla de Silva saw her penalty saved by the captain, Paolo Ulloa. The captain and the goalkeeper for Madrid Club de Football had a superb second half. She kept everything at bay. It means that Maria Pry and her side earn a point on Derby Day. It's finished. Atletico Madrid won. Madrid club the football won. coming in you either see it as a threat and you kind of crumble with it or you see it as a challenge and you thrive from it Football. Oh, wow! What a goal that is!